Hi you guys, so we're out biking the dog down our favorite field path out here and I was really noticing all the uh, wild growth out here and I have realized that I think you could probably live near this field for a little while and get much of what you needed in the way of medicinals and uh, food stuffs, but mostly medicinals and uh, survive for quite a while so um, or at least until it all went out of season. So I wanted to uh, take a little walk with you here, show you what I see. And then um, when I put notice something, I will uh, put down below what the proper name for it is. I'll, the slang name is mostly what I know. And uh, any uses for it. So first off, we've got all this, this clover, which is very edible. Um, you may recognize, there's several different kinds of clover in here, but you probably really recognize these flowers, and the whole plant, I believe, is, is edible. Uh, this you may recognize as well. Some people call it pineapple weed. Um, I know it more as wild chamomile, medicinal and edible. Uh, they've planted most of this field with a grass, and I've been wondering for a long time if you can eat grass, and yes, you can eat grass, but what you do is, like a, a tree has a cambium layer, grass, if you take it and pull from the top, you'll pull out a lighter green area like this. And this is the part that's edible, the part that's soft and chewable until it gets too woody and then you toss it. It tastes a little bit like asparagus, asparagus. So here we have a different kind of a clover and this is a red clover, a larger red clover. What else do we have here? We have, all right, a little further down the same path. I'm sure you recognize this, right? Oh, with a squash beetle on it. Oh, you see that guy jumped. Um, dandelion, right? Medicinal. And you can eat most of the plant. As it gets older like this, it will get bitter. Um, but you can still do a light stir fry on it. Uh, and I'll list, like I said down below, some of the medicinal uses for it. That's just kind of strewn about kind of around here. All right, so in this bright sun here, I wanted to show you guys that technique again to remove the inner part of uh, the grass. So you've got the older part down here, the newer, the newer part up here, and you just grasp this firmly and pull slowly. And can you see it lengthening? And it's coming out just like that. And so this part is nice and sweet and soft and then what's left in there is just like a little tube where this part was inside and pulled out so super easy to do you can eat that all day long while you're walking well this is interesting this is a plant called mallow let's see a little beautiful flower on there it's a low grower it's a creeper it stays nice close to the ground it's a member of the geranium family also a medicinal and edible. So we'll put some more about that. So you can read that. And yes, you can um, whip it into kind of a dessert concoction that's uh, where part of it gets its slang name, mallow. It looks like marshmallow. Um, so very edible as well as medicinal. All right, so let's keep on going. We got more field to go. So this is an older mallow that's gone from that young juvenile growing, creeping close to the ground to flowering and getting taller. So I'm not sure if this is two years old. It seems like that to me. Um, but it could just be a one year old that's loving life. But you can see how big they get. But see how you can tell? Remember the geranium family? Kind of brown, purple stems. Great plant. All right, homeward. 
So this is purple dead nettle. It's a member of the nettle family. I call it dead nettle because it's a cousin to stinging nettle, but it doesn't sting, so somehow it got the slang name dead nettle because it's not stinging you. That's a stupid name. Because it makes you think that it's uh, poisonous or something, but it's not. It's medicinal and uh, edible. Very cool plant, and interestingly enough, the stem is square. Can you see that? Very interesting plant. So it's pretty easy to identify that in the purple top. All right, onward.